Oh, check it out. What's this? Oh, wicked. Theme park this way. Excellent. What? Okay. You must be scanned to proceed. Okay. We will scan ourselves. Ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And we pass. Wicked. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you the IC2 scanner and replicator from Industrial Craft. So if I just show you a couple of the recipes for these machines, for the scanner, you're going to need this guy, two advanced circuits, two electric motors, one advanced machine case, reinforced glass, and two iron plates. For the replicator, you are going to need mining lasers, two of them, advanced circuits, advanced machine case, you're going to need some memory crystals, and you are finally going to need reinforced stone from industrial craft, as well as some memory crystal raw as well. And you can find that out in NEI. So, these are all the things you'll need to get these guys hooked up. You're going to need the scanner, the pattern storage, and the replicator of course. You can use a normal redstone furnace or a normal furnace, as well as an MFSU tank UU matter, fluid conduit, crystal memory raw, and fiberglass. So if we just take these two guys out, so what you're actually going to want to do first is if you haven't done already you're actually going to want to get the mass fab and recycler and i'll leave a link in the description to show you how to get uu matter and make it and etc so first if we go to the scanner and if we quickly hook every one of these guys up boom 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 as i can see you're going to need a lot of power as i've got four mfsus here Make sure you have a lot of power because these guys drink I know tomorrow so if we go into the scanner as you can see it's pretty simple say for example if you are really low on cobblestone and you if you're in a sand biome for example so if we chuck the cobblestone in here as you can see as that that will scan away and while we're waiting for that with these crystal memory raw what you're going to want to do is go to a furnace and chuck it in a furnace and any minute now there you go they turn into crystal memory and the great thing about it now it has memory on it so if we wait for the second one boom sweet so if we head back to the scanner it's at 20 percent so we'll be back once it's finished Okay, and we're back. As you can see, it's almost finished scanning. And shaboom! There you go. Now, we have a couple of options we can do. But first, you want to get your memory crystal and place it in this slot here. As you can see, scan's complete. Excellent. What we can do, we can save it, and it will save it to this memory crystal. Or we can delete it if we don't want it. But I think we'll save this. As you can see, now it's saved cobblestones and it shows you how much UU matter you are going to need as well. So, as well as this is away diamonds, or so you don't have to keep going finding them. So, if we scan that one and let that scan, and we chuck that other empty memory crystal in there. So, the pattern storage is quite important. You're going to need the pattern storage machine so you can use the replicator. So if we have a look in the pattern storage, as you can see, I've already put two things in here already. These two guys, oak saplings and a grass block. So it's pretty simple. All you need to do is pick up a thing you scanned with your crystal, place it in here. You have two options. You can export to an empty crystal or you can import from the crystal. So I think we'll import here. And now if we take this guy out, and if we scroll along to the one we just done, 
which was the cobblestone. There you go. 10 UU mana, energy zero. Sweet as. So, one more thing about the pattern storage it does not need any power to run at all, it's just a storage place. So, next, if we run over to the replicator, make sure you have your UU, UU matter hooked up. And if we flick this guy on, as you can see, all the UU matter is going in. And now, if we have a look at it, it's pretty simple. It has an internal tank, which is filling up. Or you can put cells in if you do not have a tank near it. It has stop, single run, or repeat. I'm pretty sure these guys are for upgrades. You can speed it or inject or whatever. As you can see, with the pattern storage, the things we've got in here, we just scroll through to the one we want to make. So, tree sapling, say the cobblestone we just made. So, sweet. All we need to do now is hit single run, and there you go. It's made it. Wicked. So, you can make endless amounts of cobblestone this way as well. Or, if we say we go to a tree sapling, and if we hit single run again, there you go. This time it's going to take a bit of time. So, We'll be back once that's done. Sweet as, there you go. You have made an oak sapling as well. So, you have pretty much learned how to use all three machines. Even the pattern storage as well. And if you want, instead of taking them out singly, you can export it to a chest, which is pretty cool. And just some notes for you guys. To get the pattern in the replicator, you will need the pattern storage. That's crucial as well as scanning one item will consume about 850,000 EU so you are gonna need a lot of EU and the items you can replicate are as shown you should see them now sweet and just just a couple more notes if you see these memory crystals, they are non-stackable, so if I chuck one in here and then try chuck another one, as you can see, you can't put them in the barrels. So, I hope you learned something, and until next time, thank you.